Hello, um, welcome to Game Dev Adventures. I am Diego Lizarazo. Uh, like every other time, here I'm leaving you my contact information and the links to my game templates and my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to make questions and make comments. And uh, these quick series of videos, like so far, this is the fourth, actually started with a question on my YouTube channel. So. Uh, Make certain that, that put there whatever you think that, uh, that is bothering you or that you want to ask and uh, I'll read it and I'll do my best to answer or at least to, to comment back, okay? So, so far what we were talking about was uh, about functions and uh, in the third video, the previous one, I was showing you uh, this small example that I created in front of you on how to call a function and how to set the returning value right now um, I have already covered how to normally call like a normal function that is only like executing uh, actions in the second one we kind of check how to send parameters like uh, like something like basically like this uh, and then you can add like as many parameters that as you want and uh, to send information to the function and well make it work differently and the last one, like I said, we were setting like the returning value to create this small calculator that we had here, and we were having like a small, well, a small, uh, yeah, two no, two number calculator that was giving us the value of like this number, and then the operation that you pick with this number. So in this case, I pick ten divided by two and we got a five so that's good so today I just want to cover a, a really classic example and I'm not going to try to be original here on uh, the last part of functions and uh, well perhaps I can do another video but uh, today or at least right now I'm going to cover uh, recursion right so recursion is when a function is calling itself so right now in our functions here we're just doing something we're setting a value but we're not doing anything else but what happens if the value that we have to set is uh, the result of another of another uh, function in this case it would be itself so a good example of that is uh, factorial okay so let's suppose that I'm going just to write it here so it's simpler so let's suppose uh, well I'm going to put it here so factorial usually is written like this and now when we have something like factorial of 1 that would be just 1 okay but then when you have factorial of 2 and I'm copying here 2 factorial this would be 2 times the factorial of uh, one, basically of the factorial of one. That we already know that is. Ooh, what did it put here? That we already know that is one. But what happens with three? This would be basically so factorial of three. I'm writing it here. This would be three times the factorial of two that we already know that the factorial of 2 is 2 times the factorial of 1 and then we can like have like the recursion right there because we have 4 is time, time 4 times the factorial of 3 that in its time is 3 times the factorial of 2 etc etc so basically it's going to be if we have something like 5 that is the last example that I'm going to put here we should have something on the terms at the end of the day of like 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 something like that um, so how do I do that so in this example what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add the symbol that we did that we oh well I didn't want that I actually want to clone this object so I'm going to put it here and I'm going to change the symbol and I'm going to call it button factorial okay 
Uh, since we don't really need two numbers, I am just going to use number one. So whatever the user, the player, is going to put here, I'm going to try to calculate the factorial and I put it here on the result. Okay? So I am going to do something similar to this. And I'm going to modify the object so whenever the uh, factorial button is clicked, I am going to call the function factorial or something that I haven't created yet. And I just need one parameter. I don't need two parameters because I just need to uh, calculate the factorial 5 or 3 or whatever it is. So, done. Okay, now I have to write the, the that factorial. So I'm going to say function on function function factorial. Then I am going to have basically two cases. So I have one parameter that uh, is going to be the number. So one or two or three or four or whatever it is. So uh, if then that number is one. Then I just return one, and it's simple. So I am going to ask for that case. So I am going to function compare parameter. So if the parameter zero is equals to one, then I am going to return set return value to one. Now, what happens if this parameter was not one? If it's something else, if it's two or three or four, then I am going to say I'm going to add an else. So it was something different. The we have to be careful with this because they could send us like a negative number, and I'm not covering that. So I, I'm I'm just trying to do like the normal one, okay? So what happens if it was two? Then I should return uh, set return value. Two. The number that I have that could be two, so that would be called to function dot param zero, and then I'm going to put a space here times uh, times multiplication symbol, and then I need to call again the function that in this case is factorial. So I'm going to say function dot call. And I should call it, this is first thing that I put here is the name of the function that I'm calling that is factorial. And then the second thing that I should add is the parameter. But we shouldn't add the, uh, we shouldn't pass the same parameter because otherwise it's just going to kind of like keep in a loop. We have to be really careful with that. This, this recursion could be quite dangerous if you don't know how to do it. So what I should do is, and I'm going to copy paste it, has the parameter 0 but minus 1. So if we had originally 2, then it's going to take a 2 minus 1, that is 1. So it's going to call factorial to 1. And it should be like that. Now, I'm not entirely certain if this works. I'm taking a risk here, trying it for the first time. So let's let's do it. So I we just have to put the number here and then just click this button, okay? So I'm going to try with the first example that is the simplest one, the first case, one. And it returns one, that's fine. Now, two, it's two, fine. Now, three should return me really like three times two. That is six, that is good. Now, four, that it should be four times six, that is 24. That's fine. And now if I do 5, it should be 5 times 24. That would be 120, if I'm not mistaken. That's really good. And now let's just do for 6. That would be 6, 7, 20. And it's working. So basically what it's doing, without you noticing, is just take, receiving a number that it could be 6. First it compares. Hey, is it one? No. Then it goes for the else, and then it says I am receiving this six, and then I'm going to multiply it by the result, the returning value of calling again factorial. 
so it uh, but passing a different parameter so if I received the first time 6 it's going to pass a 5 so it's going to tell me 6 times factorial of 5 for 5 is going to say 5 times factorial of 4 until at some point is able to get to this now this is a really classic example of recursion if you're interested in this uh, there are many examples out there and uh, I, I would really like to do something like for example like binary search in construct 2 just using this because it's quite powerful and not just that it's quite interesting to see it uh, the only thing that I have to point is that please add this kind of uh, this kind of event and that in this case is the base case that you should have in your function because otherwise it's just this other one is going to keep calling itself over and over and over again and then your program your game is not going to work well quite likely uh, I have covered already how to call another function inside uh, construct2 but I'm going to make a, a perhaps later another video just to cover that how a function can call another function but of course there are several ways that well today we did basically that it's just that I was calling the same function so I was just making it into a uh, recursion in any case I hope that you like the video uh, like I said before here you have the links for my templates my YouTube channel and Twitter blog Twitch etc etc so just give me your comments let me know what you think of the series so far and have a great day